Hey there YouTube, James here once again and it's the end of 2016 so we have most of the major phone announcements out of the way already so we want to try and find you the best phone to buy at the end of the year. So we've taken the Samsung Galaxy S7, the LG G5, the HC10, the Sony Xperia XZ, the Google Pixel and the iPhone 7 and we're going to put them through the same test. There's four of them, there's web browsing, there's gaming, there's YouTube playing and there's also native video playing. So let's jump into it. So in terms of spec, the HC10 and the Samsung Galaxy S7 have the largest batteries, but they're also powering QHD over five inch screens. The phone with the smallest battery is the iPhone 7 at 1,960 milliamps, but it's a much lower res screen than the Samsung or the HTC. So at the first milestone in our test, the end of the web browsing, the HC10 is winning with 75%. The LG G5 is just a little bit behind with 73%. On the other end, the iPhone 7 is really struggling here. It's at 58% and it's already almost down to half battery after only an hour and a half of browsing the internet. So at the end of the second stage of our test, there's a new leader at the top. It's the LG G5 with 47%. The HTC is now on 46%, while the Sony, the Google, and the Samsung are all in a similar range. Uh, they're not really doing that well they're at the 40%, while the one that's really struggling is the iPhone. And in fact, it's at 20% right now, but it's not even gonna make its way through the next test. So gaming has changed the entire test here. The Samsung has come out on top. It's still got 10% of its battery left over. The HTC and the LG have really struggled with the gaming test. They're not doing particularly well with Real Racing 3, and we're not even sure if they're gonna last through the rest of the test. The iPhone has completely gone, nada, it is out of here. While the Sony and the Google are in a middle ground right now, we don't even think they're gonna last through the end of the fourth test. So here's the fourth and final stage of our new battery test. This is a video we download to each of the phones. We're playing it through. And we're gonna see which one lasts the longest. And there's the end of the test. The Samsung Galaxy S7 has died. So if you've been watching Tech Radar YouTube videos for the last nine months or so, you'll know that the Samsung Galaxy S7 has probably the best battery life out there. In terms of this test, it has absolutely smashed it. The Samsung is the best phone to go for if you want good battery life on your phone. One thing to note though, it did really struggle with web browsing in this test. Video and gaming, it caught up, but it went down from about 100% to 65% in that web browsing test. So if you're gonna be browsing the internet a lot, it might not be the best one for you. On the other end of the scale, we have the iPhone 7 in sixth place. It's been absolutely thrashed here. It lasted three hours and 44 minutes. It has not done well. The Samsung almost did two hours on top of the iPhone. So if you're looking for good battery life, the iPhone isn't the phone to go for. We will be testing the iPhone 7 Plus in a future phablet battery test, but it's not that great. We've done the iPhone 7 and the iPhone 7 Plus together. If you just need battery, pure battery, don't go for the iPhone. So the Sony, the Pixel, and the HTC sit in this kind of middle ground around the four hour and 45 minute mark. The one to note here though is the LG G5, which has actually done really well. It's not as good as the Samsung, but it's done pretty well here at the five hour mark. That's 20 minutes off of the Samsung. So if you're not a fan of the Samsung Galaxy S7 and you want an Android phone, go for the LG G5 in terms of battery. So are you surprised at the results of this test? Be sure to let us know in the comments below how you feel about it. At the moment, you're gonna see some old tests floating around me, but soon we will have a camera and a speed test. Come back, they'll be floating around here, or even better, subscribe, and you're gonna get them straight to your inbox right away. Thanks for commenting, thanks for liking, thanks for subscribing. I'll see you again soon.